Griffin Cannon goes to work for the eighth time this year. It's his seventh start. His last three have been good at Boston against the Dodgers at home at Seattle. All of them outstanding, missing a ton of bats this year, as all Angels starting pitchers are. Donaldson drawing a walk. Now it counts full to Kepler. I would think he would get a fastball right here. That stroke to the right field corner and fair into the corner. Donaldson rounding second on his way to third, and they're going to hold him up there with Kepler. Keeping one just fair for a double, and the Twins are in business. The Twins not only have a great chance to score, they got a chance to break the game open a little bit here before the Angels even get to the bat rack. So Noah double and three at bats in the first game today. Mashed to left, crushed to left. Get a grand slam for Miguel Sano, and the Twins get a big fly in a big spot. And the Twins jump out in front, four to nothing. Chris Butera and Canning just decided that they were just going to continue to challenge him with fastballs and, you know, just throwing one too many fastballs. And, you know, that, that, that blows my mind that you have that, that good of a changeup that you wouldn't at least show him one to get him off the fastball. Into the Angel bullpen and a quick 4 0 Twins lead. Jose Barrios is tough. He goes to work for the ninth time this time against that lineup. Rios out of the prep world of Puerto Rico twins first round pick a couple of years back he was initially going to Miami Dade these are the numbers they're very good yeah he's got plus stuff fastball 93 97 Jose Rojas left handed batting second baseman he went up and got it it's a fastball he was ready and it's gone that is some super quick hands by Jose Rojas his second career home run to go along with nine doubles fifth RBI right away the halos responding to the grand slam by Sano with a home run by Rojas it was 109 miles per hour exit velocity running fastball upstairs brings his hands up and this is out by a lot good to say he's human strike out of Otani as he and maybe some other angel hitters will get a steady die to Barrios breaking ball and the 3 2 swing and a miss, and down he goes. Barrio strikes out Walsh on a curveball. He strikes out two. This one has a Minnesota slant to it right now, up 4 1. Here's the pitch. That's hit hard, and that is a fair ball. Hit the line. It's going to roll around down in the left field corner. Going into third and being waved home will be up. Then here's the throw. It's late. He'll score. Throw up to second. That's late. Although that looked pretty close at second base as Taylor Ward after getting that double was rounding the bag but the Angels get a run on the board and now it's a 4 2 Minnesota lead. Well, this is a sinker that just doesn't get all the way down it stays up in the zone those are the ones you can hit hard and Ward does hammers it down in that left field corner and that left field corner is always a tricky deal. Drew chokes up on the bat two of 20. Utera fights it off into center field down for a base hit a stop sign was up from Butterfield he ran right through it and he scores four to three the score Taylor Ward took matters into his own hands and Butera with an RBI Brian Butterfield's going to give him a speeding ticket when he gets into the dugout <laughs> but he went right around them and scores on the high throw that's Snyder in center that's a good read. He knew that baseball was down. That's just a great initial read. Most of the production has been coming from Garber's bat. That six home runs, 13 driven in. Swung on a hit down the left field line and hit well. It stays fair. It's caught. Hits off the post for a home run. Garber stayed at home plate and was talking to it to stay fair and hit high on top of the foul pole. And talking about run production, Garber. He's picked up his seventh home run. Twins now lead five to three. That'll make your knee feel good. He threw one too many breaking balls. Doing the most damage. Speaking of damage, into the corner. That one goes well struck. I hit to the get the pole. You bet it got the pole, and it's gone. Boy, how often you see that? Two baseballs on the foul pole in the same inning. One by the Twins, and one by Walsh. Well, they may review that. It felt like it was some kind of deflection. 
but now they're going to make sure. Oh, maybe it's the wire ah, pass. That, oh, they're going to be able to. That's what deflected it. Yeah, they're going to take that away because I saw a deflection, but I didn't know where that exactly what it hit. But the wire, I think that's going to end up being not a home run for Walsh. Foul ball. They get the call correct. Two and two. Barrios about to throw his 65th pitch. Got him on a breaking ball and a good start to the fourth inning. And by those two swings from Upton on Brios's breaking balls, clearly he's not picking that ball up at all because he wasn't close to neither of, neither of those pitches. Refined his arsenal out there on the mound and really hit his spots. Butera may be still feeling that foul tip limps as he finishes his swing. One down. Beautiful pitch in a great spot. Put him in a good pitcher's count. Going to one two now. See if he can spot that. Breaking ball got him. He hit Garver's mitt perfectly. You can see Otani I mean, on the fastballs. He's right on him. But anything breaking, you can see that front hip goes, and he's all out balance, falling towards the visitors dugout. If you're Otani and you've had two pitches out there called strikes, you got to swing it. You can punch out those lefties at a high rate. Got it. Perfect spot for another breaking ball, a swing and a miss, and the two lefties go down on strikes. The man on two out, and the one two. He got him. Strike three. Swinging at 95, and Rogers delivers yet again. Strikes out three. Angels leave one. Larnick 0 for five with a walk, two and one. A high drive to right field. Going back is Ward, and that ball's gone. His first big league home run on his home turf. And he delivers against the lefty and produces a huge insurance run. Trevor Larnick picked a great time for his first, uh, first big league home run. Hesitation and a leg kick, and then 97 right down the middle, and the Twins get their split in the doubleheader. 